We've got lots of fun suits on here. And we're like, we have these really soft scrunchies. You're gonna love the colors. And then here's an extra small. how I am the best employee, and they seem to disagree. Sure. I'm the no. best. They think they can do better. So you are a really good employee. Taylor, you do a wonderful job, I think that. But I am interested to see who is the best employee. <laughs> Michelle, you're automatically disqualified because you're the owner, right? Is this your Darn. store? Yes, so just earlier today, I was thinking, you know what? Because when the store first opened, well, we started online first, and then we opened the store about a couple years after we started Rad Swim. For the first little while, I was an employee here, and I just loved it. I loved helping people find the right suit for them, because I'm passionate about all the suits, because we design all of them, and I know exactly how they fit. But then things kind of got too busy for that. So obviously, we hired more employees, and I stopped working here in the store. But I secretly really want to still. Yeah. Can I still be in the contest? Yes, totally. You can be. You okay. can't win, but you can be. You're the helpful trainer manager. Okay. Before we start the challenge, tell us about those swimsuits that are behind you. They actually look really cool. Yes, these are the reversible swimsuits on RadSwim.com. Okay. Reversible swimsuits are like this one. Okay. And tell then me. on the other side, it's a different design. It's a different design. design. So you can oh, wait, have it so you way. can flip it? Yeah, and they all match. So it's like two swimsuits in one. Yeah. So if you watched our last to leave the sand video, I think that's where we talked about them and kind of launched them on the Shumway show. So yep. you guys are always the first people to see things, which yep. is super exciting. Okay, you guys, so here's what we're gonna do. Kyle and I have decided on five mystery categories the girls don't even know what they are because we really want them just to be genuinely do their very best and not worry yeah. too much about categories. But we need a scoring system. So we came up with five mystery categories and the winner gets all the cash out of the cash register. Yes. Could okay. be ten dollars, could be more, who knows? Okay, so tell us what is the first category. Okay. London, go stand somewhere else. Let's see. First category, yes. Here, let's stand together and talk. Okay, the first category is greeting the customer. Okay. I think they're listening. Let's just hope we get some customers coming here soon. Lexi is the first employee. Let's see how she does. Customers coming in. Hi, welcome. Hi. I'm Lexi. Just let me know if you need any sizes or like okay. any sort of suits or anything. Okay. okay. How do you think that went? Oh my god, it was kind of awkward because I didn't know what to say. And I was just like, oh, just hi, I'm Lexi. <laughs> It seems like they felt really welcomed, so that was good. So you guys just walked into the Rat Swim store. Welcome, thank you for stopping in. Lexi is our employee in training. How do you feel like she did in greeting you guys? You're really good. good. Oh, really? really I like the greeting. Yeah, she's very nice. These guys are some of Lexi's good friends. They might be a little biased. <laughs> do you guys feel like she made you feel like you would be fine asking questions if you had them? Yeah. yeah. And you felt welcome to the store? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey. Cool. Brighton, it's your turn. Are you ready? Is this your first time working no. here? No. <laughs> I come here often, I guess you could say. So this is your first time working with customers. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see how you do. I bet you'll do great. Are you nervous? Yeah. <gasps> Welcome. My name is Brighton. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, Brighton, they're still here. How do you think you did with that greeting? Good. Pretty I good? I guess. Yeah, it was good. Are you guys finding everything okay? back there also so you guys can go try stuff on if you want to. Okay, awesome. Okay, Brian, if you could change one thing about the way you greeted them, what would it be? That I was like stuttering and my face was red. Was it red? <laughs> I felt like I was burning. Were you kind of blushing? <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was melting. Well, you were kind of nervous? Yeah, You really did a great job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> London, are you ready? Are you gonna greet some customers? Okay, so we are so lucky we have these customers right here who are ready to give London some practice. Yes. Okay, here we go. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Hi
My name's London, and if there's anything you need help with, you're welcome to ask me. Okay, okay thank awesome. you so much. London, that was a super exciting entrance. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think that went? I wish people greeted me like that when I walked into a store because that was like so happy and exciting. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. Okay guys, now it's my turn and I'm going to prove to my sisters that I really am the best employee. Well, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> These are the customers and we're going to see how Taylor normally greets customers. Okay. Awesome, but no, if you need anything. Okay, how do you guys think Taylor did? I think she did amazing. I think she did amazing. <laughs> really? One million out of ten. Good job, Taylor. You're natural. She wasn't too forceful and she wasn't too boring. She was perfect. Awesome. I think Taylor's had a little bit of practice, you can tell. <laughs> okay, the general manager's calling. All right. Hello? Hey, good. How are you? She's in trouble. Yes, my parents are just in the store, so I've just been talking to them, but I will, I'll get that done. Yes, no worries. Thank you. Okay, I feel like she used the my parents are owners card. Here. Okay, guys, is everyone ready? The next challenge is going to be a group challenge. What we're going to do is we're going to be having our customers running around the store. Not literally running, but just going around the store like legit shopping. And they will be pointing out or talking about suits that they're interested in. And then our employees over here will be in charge of helping them find the suits that they need. And then afterwards, you girls, you customers are going to have to give each employee a rating on how well they did helping you find the suits you want. Do you like that idea? I love that. Okay, so Kyle and I have our competition number two. And this is to help customers find the perfect swimming suit for them. And not just- That's yeah. important. It's very important. Yes. And these aren't just any customers. They are turning sassy mode on to a level 10. So I'm super excited to see how the girls do. I think they're gonna do great, but it is gonna be a challenge. Here come the customers. with anything. I need something that's like a two piece. Like also when I'm in the waves, like I don't want it to like come off or anything. So I need it to hug pretty tight, but then I also don't love bright colors. So it needs to be like dark colors, but also some white on it, something like that. Okay, I think I know. Do you know what size would be? It would be a small. Okay. Hi, do you need help with anything? Yeah, I want like a two-piece swimsuit, but like it has to be really modest and it has to hug my body really tight and I needed to have it for like three years at the most. So. Okay, I think some really good ones are like, I really think that this one is a really good one or like yeah, this one. one or this one. Or um, have, like, I like the green ones. Okay, yeah. The green ones are cute. Okay, what size are you? I'm not really sure. You're about my size, so you're probably gonna be like a 12 or like a 14, so let's go see. It's over on this one. Uh, I want like a one piece swimsuit, but it has to be super modest and it has to be super casual, like one color or something like that. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think if we have any one colored one pieces. Do you like bright colors? or more like mellow. I like bright colors. Okay, I think. Do you yeah, like kind of like this? Like okay. Here. Thank you. Guys, this is actually kind of stressful because I'm trying to help two people at the same time. Are you ready to help some customers? Okay, yeah. come here, come on. So I want something like a little more darker and more like a two-piece kind of swimsuit. It has to be like more modest. That's it. <laughs> I'm thinking one of our sporty tankies would be perfect. Okay. We're going to love our sporty tankies. It's called the Sydney. It has long sleeves and colorful stripes. Uh huh. I like it. I like that it has all the stripes and super colorful. I like it. And did you get a little bit nervous when the customer wanted help with something? Yeah. How did you deal with that? It's just important to remember to be helpful. You 
Julia, we are actually out of the Decker Tankini, which is sort of one that you were describing. Is there anything else you'd like me to find? It's okay, I'm just gonna keep looking around. Thanks, though. Okay, thank you. We actually don't have it in your size right now. Oh, that's okay. I'll just keep looking around. Okay, <laughs> just let me know if you need anything. Okay. Do you have anything on sale right now? Yeah, so we actually have a sale rack with lots of stuff on sale. Let me help you. Here's her sale rack. Everything is 50% off. We've got lots of fun suits on here, and let me know if you need any more sizes in the back. Thank you. Yeah. So, Allie, how did she do from an actual Rats Room employee? Uh, it, was, it was okay. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Taylor, did you get nervous? A little bit, because okay. there were people in the drive thru and they were like, I'm like staring at me. So, yeah, I get that so intimidating. <laughs> so, I found one more suit. It didn't have a size small, but here's a medium maybe that you could okay, try. Yeah, yeah, I'll totally try that out. It's a lot like our checkered suit, and it's like kind of a sportier shape, also. Yeah, I know. And you're gonna love the colors. And then here's an extra small one piece checkered. Okay, girls, I don't want anyone to say any names, but do we all agree on who is the cutest seventh grade boy yes. at Timberlake? Wait, yes, yes. If you all agree on one boy, raise your hand. Wow, that, okay. Okay, okay. If you don't have a crush, raise your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Those hands didn't go up. Well, you know, there's always time. There's always time. Okay, for challenge number three, we realized it's so important for employees to know the names of the swimsuits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see who can name the most swimsuits in 10 seconds, starting with Taylor. Okay. Taylor, step over to changing room number one. Have a seat. Ready, go. Uh, Marie, Cora, Jane, Stephanie, uh, oh my gosh, Julia, um, Allie, Six. Taylor. Six, you did six suits in 10 seconds. Good job. I thought you guys were going to show me pictures of them. No. Nope. So, okay, in next a minute? up is Lexi in 10 seconds. 10 seconds? 10 seconds name is and Macy. they have to be current suits. On your mark, get set, go. Hope, Elena, Betsy, um, Ashley, uh, Marie, uh, uh. And that's five uh, suits in 10 seconds. High Good five. job. Good job. In 10 seconds, name as many rats or suits as you possibly can. Set, go. Aaron, Julia, Betsy, Elena, Stephanie, Court, um, not Courtney, um, um Ali, Aaron, um. And seven, you got seven in 10 seconds. <laughs> good job. really good. You can do a lift, I believe in you. Uh -huh. Think of the ones that you have in your drawer. Get set, go. The Betsy, the Elena, the... That's been about 20 seconds. You got two suits, that's pretty good. A lot of these swimming suits, in fact, almost all of them are named after family members or close friends or people that we know, so. Oh, I should have said the Brock and Boston and the Hope and the, yeah. and the Cora. Yep. yep. <laughs> Ryan, you won that challenge. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next challenge is our checkout challenge. We are going to see who can check out a customer, not necessarily the fastest, but the smoothest checkout. Brighton, are you up for this challenge? Yes. Okay, awesome. We need a customer who wants to buy a swimsuit. Hi. Okay, we got two. Okay, come up over here. Taylor's gonna check you out. Here is our checkout app, where we check everyone out and get it all figured out. So it's kind of fun, huh? Because you click on the picture. Yep, you click on the picture, and then you pick your size. It's really nice. Okay, hey, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna just dive in. I'm so glad you found something you liked. Yeah, me too. Are you going somewhere fun? Just no, just, just hanging out in the house. Yeah. This is one of my favorite suits for sure because it's yeah. just so flattering and fun, and it's adjustable on the back too, so you're able to just you know kind of grow with it. And it's such good quality. I really love it. Are you guys checking out separately or together? I think separately. Yeah, separately. Okay, your total is thirty-eight dollars. Perfect. Can I have you sign right here? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Use your card. Thank you. And there's your swimsuit. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Okay, Tim. How do you think that went? I think it went really good. I think it did too. Yes. Yeah. Smooth checkout. Good job. You are experienced, girl. Okay, Brighton. 
Okay. like a specific thing. I think you did a great job, good job. Okay, it's Lexi's turn! Lexi, are you excited? Mm -hmm. This is like the funnest part, huh? Yeah, it is really fun. Oh, okay, okay. okay so are you guys checking out together or are you checking out separate? Uh, separate. separate. Okay. Let's see, right here. So you have the And if you want, you can buy like a super cute mask. It's really good for school. Or like we have these really soft scrunchies or some sunglasses would look really cute if you're like going on vacation and you need some cute sunglasses to wear. They also work really well. Those are cute. But, okay. Okay, so it's just 52. It didn't work. She didn't end up wanting the sunglasses and things. Did that make you feel kind of awkward? It was like, okay. Yeah, but it's okay. Kay. Last but not least, London, you're the last person who gets to try to check someone out. Are you ready? Okay, so I got some. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're pretending you're the customer. Yeah. You're a cute little customer and a cute little employee. Let's do this. Employee in a train. That's right. Going London. Good. Are you so nervous about this? No, not really. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Have you ever done this before? No. It's $48. The employee seems a little unsure of herself. How does it make you feel? It's okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. Wow, Lennon, for your first time taking somebody out, how do you think that went? Bad. I was bad. I think you were good. No, you were bad. That I was didn't really know what to do. It's kind of hard when you're only nine. You know what, for being nine, I think you totally aced that. Good job. You did almost put the hanger in the bag, so that was kind of funny, but. <laughs> Hi, Bob. So this is our clean up closing task challenge. Yeah. One of the tasks is to put back all the suits that people tried on and make everything look good before you leave. So we're gonna see in one minute's time who can hang up the most suits. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So I have the things I need to put back. I'm gonna put them right here. You guys can only take one thing at a time and you have one minute. So you put this thing away and then you have to come back and get the next. Okay. okay. You're all gonna go at the same time. On your mark. One, one thing at Go! There goes Brighton, she's off. Good job, Brighton. Lexi and Taylor are going. Okay. Brighton's already got one. Good job, guys. Lum's having a hard time finding where her stuff goes. Lexi, okay. If you put something in the wrong place, we take off two. Good job, Lexi. Oh. then it was right where that one went, huh? Okay, London, how many did you get? Uh, one, three, 
got one. Four. Okay, Lexi, how many did you get? Uh, I, I got five. Right. Four. Taylor. Four. Lexi, you won! <laughs> Right. We're going to tally up the totals and we'll be right back with who right. is the best employee. These are getting a little crazy up in here. And we just want to explain. Challenge number one was greeting. We thought London won that challenge because we loved the way she popped out and said, Welcome! I just thought it was so cute. And then challenge number two, helping customers find the best suit. We noticed Brighton was trying really hard. Extraordinarily helpful. She was trying to find alternatives when they did we didn't have the ones that other people wanted in stock. So Brighton won that challenge. Naming the most suits was also Brighton. A checkout stand, Taylor won that. It was very smooth. She knew exactly what she was doing. She's do. really experienced. She actually legitimately works here. She's had a lot of practice. Yeah. She's really good. And then hanging up the most suits was actually Lexi. She hung up the most suits. So Yay. that means that Brighton actually won this challenge. Woo! But you know what, in Taylor's defense, Taylor actually is an amazing employee and I don't even know if we gave her enough screen time on helping employees. But well, we because. actually paid her money to work here, so. Yes. Yeah, so we figured it probably wasn't fair to either one. She really has the most practice. And all of you guys did such a good job, honestly. I was proud of each of my doctors. Good job. Yep. Go. <laughs> Go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you're alive.